Thoughts to describe it as a person, it's about a person kind of stuck in their old ways, but still at the same time learning. I'm Eli Ortega, 20 years old. Good afternoon, I'm, I'm John Crawford. I'm a real San Pedrian. I'm a California State Park lifeguard and a UC Santa Cruz student. I'm a freelancer, horizontal opposed, air-cooled mechanic. And I've been doing it for 50 years in the community. Well, I've been, I guess, well, pretty much I'm a local. I've been here since I've been a baby. I love it, it's a good place. Nice place to grow up, love the beach. I like to skate, surf, all that good stuff. So pretty good. I, I mean, it's not like a love-hate relationship with Pedro, to be honest. It's like I love it because it's beautiful and uh, has a lot of good stuff to do. It's like all you kind of need in one town, but at the same time, I kind of hate how close-minded people are in Pedro and how, like, it's a, it's a bit of bigotry and racism around here, but, I mean, it is what it is. We're working towards that, trying to get rid of it. But at the same time, this is my home, and I love it and just want to make it better. We are a very, very, very loving community for the people that grew up here and stuff. We don't know anything about you can't park here, you can't come here and stuff. I've never seen that before, you know? And we all, us real San Pedrians, we all get along very well. Yeah, it's for sure been embedded here for a while. Like I've seen pictures of back in the day, the Ku Klux Klan rolling through downtown San Pedro, pretty heavy thing. And it really depresses me to see that kind of racism and close-mindedness still present to this day. And I don't understand why, because Pedro is a pretty, I would say it's a bit of a, like a, its own mixing pot, like Los Angeles is, you know, there's Latinos, there's African-American people, there's white people, just people of different cultures. And there's a lot of influence, like, I mean, it's called San Pedro, like, you know how it is, like, we shouldn't be, like, so close-minded or, like, so judgmental towards others. And it's sad to say, when you drive up and down our so-called corridors, now it's bumper to bumper and people just uh, basically are, are uh, in a state of mind that it's like, who cares? Still the people that come here and have family here, they take a lot of pride in this town. They love this place. They say, hey, this is the greatest place. We never knew it was here. Yeah, that's fine, come. But take care of our place here. Don't abuse it, you know? Take care of it. Pick up your trash when you leave our beach, you know? Don't, don't uh, you know, graffiti all of our walls and our parks and stuff. That's fine, okay, you were here. But you don't have to do that to our home because some poor guy's gotta clean it all off. And that's, that's sad. And uh, doing that, it's nothing. You have nothing to prove by staining the walls, the buildings, painting our statues, busting them at our beach. Shame on you, you shouldn't do that. You love your town, why would you do that? Oh, you're not from Pedro, huh? So you're from out of town. That's no way to be. I wouldn't come to your town and bust it up or graffiti all over it. And it's cool. Like, obviously, there's the locals who try to regulate it, but I feel like they really shouldn't unless, you know, they're doing something absolutely wrong. Like, I see people doing hardcore drugs down there, and it's like, obviously, that shouldn't be done. But, you know, if you see a family or someone's trying to surf, it's like, who cares, man? They're just trying to enjoy it. But I don't know. That's just me. Obviously, there's a lot of other people who are more hardcore locals than I, but... I came from that local mentality and leaving San Pedro kind of gave me, I kind of just became more lenient on that and became more accepting of other people and like, you know, their views. I'm just trying to incorporate their experiences to my own. And then the other, you know, things on uh, the community is the growth. We have so many people coming in. And a lot of us who were born here and raised here do not leave. So now what I'm seeing is more apartment houses and big structures being built in confined areas. 
Instead of doing two stories, now we're going five, six stories above the norm. Creates more traffic. You don't want to get more pollution, more dust, and it's just hard to move around. Stop sign on every corner, and uh, for what reason, I don't know. And uh, it's, it's sad to say that uh, people that were here that are now getting old and leaving us, it's uh, you know a shame for the youngsters to not have the real old timers guiding them and telling them about the real history of this community. I mean, there's some things in Pedro that probably should stay hidden, you know, just for like the Pedro people to enjoy, like, you know, surf spots, certain skate spots, but it's like, I don't know, it could be really negative because you're not really allowing new people to come in and change your, out, your like, point of view on things. Like, I guess, <clears throat> if you're saying Pedro your whole life, you're not gonna be able to experience a lot of things, like, if they start building great big high rises and, and stuff like that, that's welcoming people from outside of our little community. And this is very hard for a lot of real old timers to get along with this because these people come, they have different attitudes. You know, they might want to party all night, you know, and uh, you, you never really did that. The local aspect is cool. Like, of course, you know, like there's always that locals only style thing. At the same time, Pedro is a beautiful place. We need to share it with other people. So it gets tough being here 70 years and seeing the change in uh, the waterfront and our parks. But just that, you know, we need to bring more creativity to San Pedro and just kind of make it a bigger deal than it is. Like, it's kind of just a quiet town right now, and I feel like it could be a lot more. It's just something that... Uh, you know, a guy my age, still young at mind, has seen uh, so much uh, change in the way people are being uh, treated now and all this so-called uh, bashing of religion and of kids, what they want to do basically in, in, in life in general. But you know, we just need more creativeness and more open-mindedness to make San Pedro an even more beautiful place than it already is. There's a lot of cool stuff that goes down here, but I feel like we could expand and a lot more people could see how nice it is down here. And that in turn would just make Pedro a better place as well. Well, what I could say from an old guy, an old surfer, hippie, is love that old thing you heard in the 60s and open up all the old books love everybody whether they want your love or your attention when you associate associate with them in the classroom or anywhere and at, at a social event be kind courteous it goes a long way that's just the normal way of expressing love for another human being. It's just being kind. Kind is love. It's not being mean. It's being thoughtful of your fellow human being. I'm a simple person. I always have been. And a free spirit. And a soloist. And that's it. I still got all my body parts. All my teeth. And I'm happy about that. So that's it. And I don't want people to think I hate Pedro. Like, I don't hate it. I love this town. I just want to see it become better and grow. I don't want to see so much close-mindedness and bigotry, like I already said. But unfortunately, it is pretty common and present down here. Like, it's amazing the things you can hear, like. But, you know, that's not the way Pedro people work. We don't do that. We love each other and we respect each other. And that's it. I just, as a kid, I would hear so much and it seemed normal to me at the time. But leaving San Pedro realize, made me realize that it's not normal, it's not okay, that we all have to accept each other and just love one another. It's like, you know, why are we gonna hate on someone else when we don't know their background, we don't know their past experiences, we need to treat anybody as we would wanna be treated. And just, I don't know, Pedro's a great place, just has some fixing to do, I guess, is the right way to say it.
Your home is home, home is love. That's what Pedro is to me, love. It's home, right here.